What's up, Mizuki? Got brain game fever for some reason? Seeing this just gave me some hangs of nostalgia, that's all. But we never played many of these growing up, did we? Back when I was with Boss, Akari, and Aoi, we used to hang out in arcades together sometimes. Not that we called it hanging out, of course. It was a public safety patrol or something, according to Boss. Huh. Actually, now that I think of it, there was this one stuffed toy in one of these that the twins really wanted. Doesn't seem like it's in this arcade, though. Not that it'd really matter if it were, either way. Well, let's say we go look for it. Huh? I mean, you never know. It might still be there, right? Thanks, Asahi. Perfect. We'll begin our quest at Crane Quest on Jump Street. Gotta have one here, right? This place is really nostalgic, too. Oh, you've been here? Yeah, back when we were on patrol. You insolent fleshy! You dare to resist the stoic, scowling freedom fighter Akari! Sis, you're neither stoic nor scowling, but you have used up the vast majority of our monthly allowance. I can't give up now, Aoi! I refuse to give in until that sweet, sweet prize is mine and my struggle is at an end! I'm not sure the massive line behind you supports that idea. We practically had to drag Akari out of here to get to the next place on our beat. She really didn't want to leave. <laughs> That's kind of a cute memory. Oh, it got worse. When Akari couldn't get the thing, Boss got a little overly excited about getting it for her. <laughs> you just leave this little varmint to good old Boss and head on out, Akari. Boss, you're so cool. Get it. Get it. This plush don't stand a chance against me. Bring it on, punk. Uh, Boss? <laughs> Boss always did seem like he was a big softy around Akari and Aoi. Yeah, that was his nature. Looks like the plushie is still out of our reach, though. Not entirely convinced we'll even be able to find one. Maybe we should take a gander at some secondhand shops. They've usually got crane machine prizes for sale. Hmm, maybe. Though to be honest, I was kind of hoping to catch one myself. <laughs> Guess you're kind of a softy too. Alright, let's go find ourselves another arcade. Thanks, man. To the Gossin on Main Street. They got tons of crane machines in there. See your plushie? I do. They've actually got it. Really? Which one? There's only the one left, but it's in that machine over there. The Mulberry Blobfish. Why the hell would Akari want something that looks like this? Why would anyone? All right, let's do this. Hey, wait up! I can't believe I actually got it. Nice. So, uh... How much did you end up spending on this? Uh, about 10, 500 yen coins? Well, it could be worse, right? Guess I got just as hooked on these crane games as they did. Huh? It's gone? No. What's with her? Excuse me, do you work here? As a matter of fact, I do. What seems to be the problem? There was a plushie in that machine over there earlier. A mulberry blobfish. Please, please tell me you have another. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry to say that was our very last one. No, no, no. My little sister really wanted one. Like, really wanted one. God, sport license plates all over again. 
I've got this. Mizuki? You say your little sister is still in elementary school? Not only that, but today is her birthday. She's turning eight today, and I still don't have a... Sorry to interrupt, but... I yes? Here, you can have this. Is... is this the blobfish? You said your little sister really wants one, didn't you? So please, take it. Are you sure you don't mind? If it makes her happy, I don't mind at all. And wish her a happy birthday for me, too. Thank you so much! After all that work and all that yen, you just gave it to her? Yeah, I did. After all... After all... what? That's what Akari and the others would have done. Whoa, what happened? Get the hell out of my way! Well, that was rude. Help! Somebody stole my purse! A purse snatching? Asahi, we should help. You alright, ma'am? Of course I'm not! My purse was just stolen! The man who pushed past us. Yeah, no kidding. We have to go after him. Come on, right there with you. Let's nab this scumbag! It's a personal pump pewter pega store! Let's get some upgrades! of him anywhere. You keep looking, Asahi. I'm gonna go ask that guy over there if he's seen anything. Pardon me, sir? Can I do something for you, son? Well, my friend and I are looking for someone. Actually, I did see someone like that. Ran by me looking downright nasty. Did you see which way he went? Hmm? Well, if I remember correctly, it was over that way, toward UBX. UBX. Got it. Thank you very much for your help. Guy says he was headed for UBX. Come on. Okay. What? Is there some reason we shouldn't? Oh, no, not at all. Let's go before he gets away. Give me a second. I'll ask around. Mizuki? Sorry to bother you, miss, but could I just have a moment of your time? Uh, sure. What can I do for you? Well, there was a purse snatching just a short while ago, and... Look at him go. Is that so? Interesting. Yeah, I'm certain he must be the guy. You've been extremely helpful. Thank you so much for answering my questions. More info, Asahi. The girl over there says there's someone over by the post office who's particularly shady. Huh. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, so we're off to the post office next, then? Yeah, there's no time to waste. Let's go. There he is. That's our guy. No doubt about it. He's the guy who ran past us. Let's get him. Not yet. Hold up for a second. What? Why? If he sees us, he's just gonna end up running again. But if he keeps on walking straight ahead... Then we can flank him. I get ya. Not quite what I had in mind, but that should work too. Wait, what? <sighs> he's on the move. I'll come in from the left. You take his right. Uh, okay. Found you! You stole that woman's purse, didn't you? I'll ask you one more time. You stole a woman's purse just now, didn't you? N no! Hell no! We saw you do it. 
You grabbed her purse and ran off with it. No, I totally didn't. I didn't do nothing. If you didn't do anything, then why would you be barreling through the streets of Akihabara? Hey, what's all this commotion? We're trying to work in that police box. And what's this about a purse thief? Good to see you, officer. This man here just stole the woman's purse. <laughs> ah, I didn't even notice the police box. Guess that was Mizuki's original plan. You should be able to find your stolen purse at the police box, ma'am. Wow! Thank you so much! And with that, I'd say this case is closed. I'm really impressed. That was some quick thinking there, man. I mean, starting a big argument with the culprit right in front of the cops? Genius! It's not really that big a deal. They were right nearby and all. Figured it'd be best to leave the hard part to them. Sharp as a tack. That's my Mizuki. Seriously? It wasn't all that. It's not just getting the cops. The way you asked all those people for info, you were like a seasoned detective. Hmm, maybe. I mean, I'm no stranger to investigation. I used to do that all the time with the Freedom Fighters. But the only reason I cared so much about it back then was so you wouldn't keep beating me at everything. Beating you at everything? Maybe it's sitting around staring at stuff, but that's the best I could do. You had me topped in every other regard and really still do. Come on, quit it with that nonsense. It's not nonsense. And besides, while you were learning all that stuff, you got to have all kinds of adventures. Yeah, I suppose you're right. The Akihabara Freedom Fighters really helped out a lot of people, didn't they? That was Boss's policy. And I'm sure it's the same for Saki. Boss wasn't quite as goofy as he seemed, was he? Oh, no, he was. He could be downright airheaded at times. But you guys always found a way to make people's lives better. No matter how futile it may have been. Futile? Well, the world is looping, so you know, all the stuff you guys fixed ultimately unfixed itself, right? That's true. But we kept on fixing those issues every day, just in case. Nothing wrong with that, right? Oh, no, not at all. Anyway, we should go tell Akemi about the purse snatching, so it can be added to her time loop cleanup plans. Yeah, it's not a major incident, but keeping it from happening again would probably be for the best. Let's go. His freedom fighters really were good people, weren't they? Hey, check out that guy. What do you think his deal is? Hmm. I feel like I remember him from somewhere. Want to go ask him what's up then? <laughs> Might as well. Where'd she go? She has to be somewhere. Excuse me, is something the matter? Oh, I... Wait a minute. Aren't you that cool dude everyone's always talking about on campus? Well, I'm not sure about that, but I do believe we go to the same university at least. Your name's... Aihara, right? Everyone in my club's always talking about you. Oh, that's totally him. Mizuki Aihara, coolest kid in school. And I'm his bestest buddy. Just as I thought. Ugh, I wish this wasn't the way we had to meet, though. It's all right, really. I'm much more concerned with whatever it is that's bothering you right now. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm trying to track someone down. If I don't stop her, there's no question in my mind she'll leave another victim in her wake. Maybe multiple victims. Victim? What happened? What? You don't know? It was the talk of the campus. Where have you been? What? You mean it happened at school? Yeah. It's almost too horrible to put into words. To think those halls of learning could house such a miscreant. She was directly responsible for the collapse of a number of clubs. Even... <sighs> Even mine. How could one woman cause multiple clubs to splinter apart? Words can't even begin to describe her. She's truly a terror. Man, this chick really did a number on you, didn't she? Well, you can count on me to help. I'm not gonna let anyone terrorize my schoolmates. You mean it? Of course. Now, can you tell me a little more about this person? Sure thing. Our villain has ingratiated herself into the Society for the Study of Anime Music. 
She's very likely making her preparations to tear the SSAM apart from the inside as we speak. The club's out singing karaoke somewhere in Akiba right now. The number of parlors makes for a tough search, though. So the SSAM's karaoke trip could well be their undoing, huh? Got it. Let's split up to cover more ground. So, Asahi, any ideas as to where they might be? Hmm, maybe Sengoku Basara on Main? They've been pushing their anime tie-up promos really hard lately. It's worth a look at least. even happening in my life anymore excuse me I whoa are you Mizuki Aihara you know this guy Mizuki I recognize him at least he's another student from my college I can't believe I'm cool enough to get the Mizuki Aihara to notice me I must be dreaming today is such a glorious day except for all the awful stuff that happened anyway uh, what awful stuff would that be exactly my school club, I kid you not, broke up just moments ago. You weren't part of the SSAM by any chance, were you? <laughs> yeah, I was. So the villain is real. Villain? You must be talking about her. We thought she was a total angel, but... But... <laughs> uh, Mizuki? This man is crying. I did not sign up for this. I repeat, we've got crying. Yeah, whatever happened, it must have been brutal. <laughs> I'm sorry to have to ask about such a sensitive subject, but can you tell us where this girl went? I'm pretty sure she's with the Animaniacs. Seems like they're doing stuff in Akihabara today, too. The Animaniacs, huh? That doesn't exactly narrow the scope of our search, does it? Not a problem in my book. We'll search everywhere an anime geek could ever want to be, one after the other. Another classmate of yours, Mizuki, which means he's probably... Are you with the Animaniacs? Oh, you've heard of us? <gasps> Man, I gotta tell the guys, Mizuki freaking Ihara knows who we are. <laughs> it's quite an honor. I'm really not that big a deal. That, never mind that. I've been hoping we'd find you guys. How are the Animaniacs doing right now? Heard about a rash of clubs going belly up lately. Yeah, about that. Boy, do I ever have a story for you. Here we go again. <laughs> and then... My club... <laughs> That's awful. I'm so sorry to hear that. At the end of the day, at least I get to be comforted by Mizuki Aihara. <laughs> Something at least, right? As bright sides go, that's pretty dim. Not helping, Asahi. But Mizuki's been the top-ranked student at the Academy for more than two years now. They're like a million girls secretly in love with him. Any dude would want to be associated with ladies' man, Ihara. Mizuki, is what the nice man says true? <laughs> it's all an exaggeration, I assure you. This girl must have been playing around with us from the very start. If only we were as cool as Ihara, maybe she... she... <laughs> and that's the second guy I've seen burst into uncontrollable tears today. Totally called it, too. What? When? I mean, not out loud, but I saw it coming, at least. Did you miss the signs? You need to pay more attention, man. Anyway, back to the evil witch shutting down anime clubs. Where is this villainous villainess now? <laughs> she vanished. 
left us in the dust and said she was going back to the computer club. <laughs> then to Junk Street we will go. Come on, Mizuki. What's going on? My dear princess, if I may, perhaps this next door would suit you. Mm, nope, not feeling it. Uh, then perhaps this one, my beloved princess. I do believe you'd find it most captivating. Ooh, yeah, that might be the one. How could you say that, my precious princess? Was it not the plan to visit my favorite shop today? But look how delightful this one is. Although, it is awfully hard to say no to something you like so very much. It is indeed. <laughs> then we simply must go to that one instead. But our lovely princess just said she liked this one. Stop being a pest. You're the one being a pest. I was promised we'd go where I wanted today. I'm sad to say I think those are all schoolmates of mine. I had a hunch. And I'd hazard a guess that they're in the computer club, too. What makes you say that? Keep watching. Now, now, boys. There's no need to fight over little old me. But I thought you wanted to go to the one I wanted to go to. But you promised me we'd go to my place. Ah, damn it, I'm done with you people. I, you can't be done with me because I'm done with you. Uh, screw this club. I quit. Yeah, me too. The princess is mine, and I'm not going to share her with anyone. See? Just like that, another group bites the dust. And at its center is the so-called villain. Are you sure? That princess over there is a club crasher. Seems like she's trying to play every side of the field. Really? How can you tell? No time to discuss that now. We've got a villain to stop. I'm flattered that my opinion means so much to you, but please, boys, don't fight. You're all such good friends. Okay, okay, that's enough now. <gasps> Aren't you? Huh? You're Mizuki Aihara. I've been into you for like so long. Um, you have? This road is fraught with many perils, Mizuki. Tread lightly. Maybe we could, I don't know, exchange numbers? Emails? Deets? Of course you choose a hot guy like him over any of us nerds. Please, boys. Don't be jealous. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I won't be able to give you my contact info. What? Why not? Because it looks to me like you're trying to keep a whole lot of people wrapped around your little finger. That's preposterous. It's the club members who keep getting the wrong idea about me. I can't help it. I'm fairly sure you can. You just choose not to. You've been pitting friend against friend everywhere you go. You're encouraging them to turn on one another, and it has to stop. You need to think about the people you're hurting, and consider how your words and actions will affect them. That's all I'm asking here. Uh, all right. I will. That should take care of the problem, I think. Hey, uh, are you good? You got kind of intense there. I mean, for you. That girl was breaking up club friendships. I just wanted her to get a sense of how important those can be. Because you never know when you might lose the chance to ever see your friends again. Yeah. Come on. We should go. Please, wait! That's the first time anyone's ever been so brutally honest with me. I finally see the error of my ways. I've decided to turn over a new leaf. I'm a whole new woman now. So, uh, about those digits of yours... I can actually hear your hopes and dreams crashing and burning, Mizuki. <laughs> Um, excuse me, but I was wondering if I might trouble you for some advice. 
Oh, uh, that's sudden, but sure, what's up? Well, you're quite handsome, and I can tell that you're a man of impeccable taste, so... Oh, you've got quite the eye, my friend. I'd be happy to advise the heck out of you. Oh, no, not you. I'm talking about that fellow next to you. Huh? You wouldn't, by any chance, be referring to me? Of course, and I have an urgent matter to discuss. Please, would you lend me your handsome, voluptuous ear? Are my ears not sexy enough? That makes sense. Confessing to a girl is tough enough as it is. Looking sharp while doing so couldn't hurt. Yes, but the fact that the lady in question doesn't seem to share my interests is somewhat worrying. Eh, you might as well just go for it. YOLO, yo! Seriously, Asahi? Didn't you say you were going to advise the heck out of this guy? Hey. I read in this one magazine that a man's power is in his hair. With the right cut, he can become a real Adonis. Then we better go buy you a wig. They must sell them somewhere in Akiba. All insensitivity aside, that does sound like a good start. Let's see if we can't find you a really nice one. You do that for me? Of course. Told you I'd help you out. How can I repay such kindness? We'll worry about that later. Mizuki, let's say we take a little jaunt to Soldier Zone on the side streets. does indeed have wigs. Let's see what's available, shall we? Man, this one is super stylish. Yeah, I think he'll be golden with this. But, uh, Mizuki, why are we even doing this for that guy in the first place? You were the one who told him you'd help him out, remember? And me, I'm used to dealing with unreasonable requests. Unreasonable requests? Well, my best friend's a neat, and he makes me get all his magazines before street date for him every week. <laughs> Sounds like a real ass. Hey! <laughs> I'm pulling your leg, man. Anyways, let's get our lovesick pal his new do. Hey, a clothing store! Wonder if they have anything in my size. One wig, as promised. Wow, thank you so much. Happy to help. But, well... Well what? How can I put this? I'm the sort who makes all of the parts for his plastic model before he puts it together. Huh? I get it. You want something else from us, don't you? Why, yes. Yes, I do. Oh, um, okay. What did you have in mind? That's just it. I'm not sure. <laughs> Man, it's like I'm dealing with a second Asahi. You want it, but you're not even sure what it is. Hey, man, my complete befuddlement only really manifests in life or death scenarios. Cut me some slack. Luckily for you, I'm an Asahi expert. So I think I know just what you need. Let's see how you look with glasses. Glasses? But aren't we trying to avoid the whole nerdy otaku vibe? Times have changed. These days, stylish glasses are all the rage. Entry it is then. Off to the station. Okay, time to pick out the coolest of glasses. These are the hipsterest, most boffo glasses I've ever seen. They're gonna be great. Definitely. They'll really flatter his face. By the way, I saw you buying yourself a pair on the sly. Yeah, I did. Why is that notable, though? You still wear your specs at home? Occasionally. Contacts make my eyes tired after a while. Plus, I'll sometimes fall asleep while I'm reading. 
rookie sleeping mistake. That's just careless. You used to wear glasses too, right? And as I recall, they were frameless IntelliSight deals. Hey, look at that. It's time to steer this conversation somewhere else. No, no. I think we're just getting started here. Tell me, why exactly did you wear those again? I, uh, I thought they'd make me look smarter. <laughs> now that was quite the phase. But I guess hoping glasses will make you look sexier isn't much better, is it? Let's just go deliver these. frames, fresh off the glasses tree. Wow, thank you. But, uh... You want something else. Yeah, but I'm still not sure what. You want to tell this girl you like her, right? Then why not show how serious you are with a sharp-looking suit? Whoa! Yes! That would be splendiferous! Suits. Why did it have to be suits? Why not, Asahi? Uh, no, it's fine. Totally fine. Forget about it. Akio menswear on main should be our best bet here. This is your hell, but we've got to pick one out, okay? See? That wasn't so bad. And the suit we got was even a pretty good deal. Freedom! Sweet scent of the outside world. I've missed you terribly. Come on, it's not that bad. I've seen you wear a suit before, Asahi. Shh! You can't just say stuff like that out loud. You ruin my reputation. Don't you think a suit might be overdoing it anyway? I mean, he's just telling a girl he likes her. I don't know. Akari was saying something about suits a while back. Boss! Glamorous freedom fighter Akari has a little proposition for you! Do you now? Let's hear it. It's time for our uniforms to get a complete and utter overhaul! Out with the black and in with the woohoo! An overhaul, you say? Akari's been watching some office lady drama non-stop. She's become obsessed with wearing fancy suits. And you would look like glitter-covered dynamite in one boss. A man in a suit always cuts an impressive figure. A compelling argument. But is that wise? A suit might just make me too handsome to protect Akihabara all proper life. As they say, every girl's crazy about a sharp-dressed man. Uh, where'd Boss even get all of that swagger? Let's just hope this suit can lend our new otaku friend a bit of it. Even just the jacket might help. A clothes shop! Maybe I should try to become a real fashionista. suit coming right up I, I don't know what to say except thank you thank you so much now you probably don't need to wear the whole ensemble when you talk to her just the jacket should suffice you guys have been such a fantastic resource I feel so much more confident because of you thank you again oh one more thing if you don't mind can we exchange contact info huh uh, I mean sure but why if you ever need my advice, just shoot me a message. I'll help you out with whatever I can. So, you gonna text him tomorrow? I was thinking of it, but I doubt he'd reply even if I did. I don't think most people would follow up with a stranger like that anyway. Maybe not, but remember what you asked me earlier? About why I was helping him out with his crazy request? To be honest, I don't think I could have brought myself to ignore it. This guy had a step he wanted to take. 
but he couldn't do it alone. So I felt I had to give him the push he needed. At first, he couldn't even put what he wanted into words, but now, I think we gave him the confidence he sought. That's pretty noble, man. I'm the same way. I've never been great at saying what I want. But from now on, I'm gonna try to change that. In my own way, at the very least. Uh, Mizuki, you okay? Shh. I feel like someone's staring at me from over there. Who? And why? I think we're good now. Whoever it was must have gone away. So, that was creepy. What just happened exactly? I don't really know, but it's been happening a lot lately. I just get a sense that someone's eyes are locked on me. Someone from the DAB, maybe? Hmm. <laughs> maybe. Something about this really gives me the heebie-jeebies. So we better get to the bottom of this mysterious starer. Great to see you jumping on board with both feet, but how do you propose we do that? With a good old-fashioned ambush. Come on, let's go see how ogle-happy this guy gets at Max Celsius in the plaza. Might as well have some coffee while we canvass the place, eh, Mizuki? Can't think of any reason not to. Well, Asahi, you getting any staring vibes? I don't know if it's a stare, a glare, or a leer, but I've felt something for a while now. Really? Didn't you notice that girl over there? She's had her eyes glued to us from the moment we walked in. Has she? You don't think. Could it be? Has my magnetic sexuality finally begun to blossom? Yeah, I didn't think so either. Forgot for a second that I was standing next to you. What's that supposed to mean? Poor, innocent Mizuki. Anyway, our prime suspect won't try to make a move here. It's way too conspicuous. In that case, we should probably go somewhere less populated to try drawing her out. Good thinking. The side streets were practically built for that purpose, and I know the perfect spot. Shouldn't be too hard to flush out Lady Death Stare here. Feel any eyes staring into the back of your head? Yeah, I'm definitely being watched. And I'm guessing it's by the usual suspect. Give me some telemetry, man. Where are the daggers flying from? Near that telephone pole, maybe? If you're pretty confident in that, we can totally sneak up on her there. You ready? Gotcha! <laughs> Why? What the? That's Ken! What's the deal with the staring, broham? Well, 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 what are you t talking about? No, this isn't right. He's not our serial creeper. Whoever's gaze I feel is shorter. So we got it wrong? Yeesh, sorry for the scare there, Ken. Huh? What, what, what the heck is, is, is going on? By any chance, did you see anyone else over here? Perhaps staring at us until just a few moments ago? Oh, yeah, I, I, did, I did. It was a girl. Was it now? She, she just up and b bolted towards m Main Street all of a sudden. Oh, fantastic. Great eye, Ken. I can always count on you. What? How, how do you... Let's book it, Asahi. Could she have gotten off to? I think I just had a bright idea. Come here, Mizuki, and listen up. Oh? Tricky. So that's how you want to play it. I love it when a plan comes together. 
Okay, Mizuki, into Animart with you. Hmm. <sighs> now, Asahi. Gotcha! G how This store has two entrances, so I came in here alone to act as bait. Then I snuck in the other entrance right afterward to get the jump on you. Damn, I'm good. B but I... Now that we've got you out in the open, tell me what it is you want from me. Well, I... Huh? Uh, Mizuki, is it just me, or have we seen this girl somewhere before? Now that you mention it, yeah. Oh, holy crap! It's her! Now, now, boys. There's no need to fight over little old me. Princess Club Crasher. Who? Aha! Uh -huh. So you fell in love with Mizuki last time we saw you and wound up becoming his stalker. Hold your horses, Asahi. It doesn't look like that's ringing any bells for her, does it? No, I guess it doesn't. But if she isn't the girl we thought she was, who is she? Um, maybe you know my older sister? Well, I wouldn't say we know her. Uh, assuming that was indeed your older sister. Her genealogy doesn't matter right now. Why are you following Mizuki around? Uh, well, <laughs> you see, the thing is, I... Um... Uh... Mizuki Aihara! Yes? I... I like you, and... And I was hoping you could... Well, we could... Will you go out with me? Huh? And there's the confession. After all that, she was just a common stalkerous Galgunis. So, Mizuki, what'll you do? Uh, please? Please go out with me? I'm really sorry, but I can't. Well, why not? Wait, you have a girlfriend already, don't you? I knew it! No, it's not that. I don't have a girlfriend. What? That's even worse! Am I not attractive enough for you? No, no, that, that's definitely not it. It's just, right now, I'm happy hanging out with my buddy Asahi here. I really am sorry, though. Oh, wait. Are, are you telling me you guys are... Are what? You went to the cafe together and even snuck onto the side streets for some alone time. So, is he your... Uh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't see the signs. Farewell, then. What just happened? Uh, a gigantic misunderstanding. Don't worry about it. Plastic rectangles relive your childhood in low definition. Dude, think they've got anything good? Come on, let's go check it out. Haven't grown up at all, have you? You always did love your games. I didn't hear you taking that holier than thou attitude back in the day. We played everything together, remember? There was that really kick ass one we used to play with Hazuki all the time, even. What was it called again? Man, when it comes to non-essential life skills, your memory is fantastic. I don't remember that at all. Childhood friendship credentials revoked. A tragedy, to be sure. So what is it you're hoping to find here anyway? One of those ninja ones or a samurai fighter? But don't tell me it's the one where you sneak around as a thief. Aha! Uh -huh. So you do remember it! Only because it was so weird. You were the only kid in school who played that kind of stuff. I mean, sure, it was kind of fun, but it wasn't exactly grade schooler material for most kids. Of course not. You were way too cool for that. But Hazuki, she knew how to have fun. Hey, that's right. Hazuki's out of the hospital now, isn't she? Let's get her a game to celebrate her recovery. Huh? What? Why is that strange? No real reason. It just feels kind of weird to play games when the world is the way it is. Hey, it's important to take a breather every once in a while, regardless of how loopy time may be. Classic Asahi. Yeah, I guess I could do with a nice change of pace. And Hazuki would definitely appreciate it, I'm sure. Let's hurry up and pick a game. 
I think that beef one you mentioned would be perfect. But isn't that a single player game? Shouldn't you go for something we can all play, like Super Crash Sisters? Well, you know, any port in a storm. Though, wait, Hazuki was crazy good at SCS, wasn't she? We should get that. Can't believe they didn't have it. Has the word common lost all its meaning? That was just one place, Asahi. And this is Akihabara. We'll find it at the next one for sure. Oh, of course. I'm not giving up. This is a job for Super Potato. To the side streets. There's not a moment to lose. something like this. Anyway, I just hope they have what we're looking for. They totally do. Had it in stock last time I checked, anyway. Sold out. Last one just walked out the door. What the hell kind of luck is that? Hey, don't sweat it. It's the thought that counts, right? Did you pick up anything at all? Sure did. Got bit by the nostalgia bug. Remember this one? It's one of those panel-shifting puzzlers. Oh, I totally do. But most of those memories are vague and angry because it was so frickin' hard. <laughs> you always used to give up halfway through the levels and have me beat them for you. Good times. I remember that. Except, weren't the rules reversed? Weren't you the one doing all the rage quitting? Was I? Yeah, because I distinctly remember being stubborn as anything. Once I started a game, I'd keep at it till it was done, which did lead to you and I getting into fights sometimes, but we always had Hoski to step in and sort us out. Huh, I don't quite remember that either. Again with the selective memory, huh? Congratulations, Mizuki. You're officially an adult. Not today, I'm not. Come on, we have another game store to raid. It's a personal computer mega store! Knuckleheads, and there they be. Oh, hey, Ahasuki. What brings you two lovebirds to this neck of the woods? Well, um, we wanted to get you a gift to celebrate your discharge from the hospital. One of those games we always used to play. A hospital discharge gift, huh? Are you okay, Hasuki? Sorry, I just felt really down all of a sudden. Why would that be? It might have something to do with you wanting to celebrate my discharge from the hospital, maybe? I fail to see how. It just warms the cockles of my heart to see how much you two have grown up is all. Both because you thought to buy me something, and because you were worried about me. Makes this big sis proud. <sighs> are you okay, Mizuki? In less emotional news, what game were you planning on picking up, Asahi? Oh yeah, that. You remember that one game we used to play all the time, Super Crash Sisters? Whoa! For reals? So you do remember it. Remember it? I just bought it! Seriously? Seriously. I just popped into some store with a crazy name to see what they were selling, and there it was! Wait, was this place...? Uh, I think it was on the side streets. Seeing it just punched me right in the nostalgia. So you were the one who ganked it right before we arrived. Who ganked what now? Oh, nothing. I'm just glad this all worked out so well in the end. Now let's go get our KOs on! Sorry, but I don't think I can do that. You can't? Why not? When this is all over... I wonder if you'll even want to play games with me. What does that mean? Is that someone's phone? <sighs> Yo, Mizuki, you listening? Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, that's mine. Pretty sure it's from Hazuki, though. Ah, <sighs> yep. Let's see what's on her list of demands today. What's it say? Dear adorable baby brother, please bring your wonderful big sister the following items and make it snappy. And there's a really, really long list. Sounds like she's using me as her errand boy again. 
<laughs> ah, siblings. What's she got on her list, anyway? Juice, chips, kebabs, manga, games. It's like she's channeling you. Wow, no kidding. I guess she's joining me under the grand banner of neatdom. Seems like you found a kindred spirit. Yeah, man, this is great. <laughs> great for you, sure. But if my mom and dad were here, I'm sure they'd be horrified. Wait, where are your folks? Uh, well... Mizuki? Ever since I turned 20, they've had me taking care of Hazuki. But so far so good, right? She's pretty chipper for someone who just got out of the hospital. No unchipper person would ever ask for a kebab, that's for sure. Speaking of, mind giving me a hand gathering all this stuff for her? Not at all. And there's no better place to find random stuff than Juan Quixote. Time to get shopping. I'll be back in a flash, so don't move a muscle. Okay. Nope, he's gone. Sorry for the wait. Holy, did you buy the whole store? Basically. If she tries to eat all this, she'll wind up right back in the hospital for sure. And yet, you bought every last thing she listed, didn't you? I guess I'm indulging her. Oh joy, another message. And it's her again. Looks like she's changed her mind for some reason. Changed it? From what to what? BB bro. Scratch Mahjong Revelations Kagome off the list and add Tiger of the Thirteen Orphans, PLZ, and TY. Terrific. I guess those are the manga series she's into. Not what I would have expected, that's for sure. Hey, if gambling manga keeps her from going out and blowing her money on real gambling, I'm all for it. I do find it a little odd, though, that I surround myself with people who can't buy their own manga. Hey, I can buy my own manga. Oh, great. So, you'll be buying your own pre-release copies from now on, then? Don't do me like this, man. Yeah, that's what I thought. Speaking of, Animart's right nearby. Good spot to find that Tiger Orphan's manga. Or whatever it's called. It's a very general store with many very general goods on offer. Okay, let's get this done. Sorry that took so long. Crap, it's her again. One sec. What's she saying now? Shining spectacular super sibling. Don't skimp on the yogurt sauce. Thanks much. Oh, for the kebabs, right? Yeah. Once we get them, we should have everything. Mind sticking with me for just a little bit longer? Not at all. The best kebabs are at Sun Kebab over on the side streets. It's a collectible shop. Perhaps we can buy some trading cards here. Uh, save point. Shall we take a break? Into the delusion scape. Get your kebabs right here! Crazy cheap! Crazy delicious! You'd be crazy not to! One order with yogurt sauce, please. And for my friend here, what do you want, Asahi? Same thing, thanks. Oh man, those look delicious. Truly, cuisine so fine could only be found on the side streets of Akihabara. You said it, and they definitely gave us our money's worth. Speaking of, is it really okay for Hazuki to eat this much while she's still recovering? Yeah, it's fine. If you say so, now that we've catered to her every whim, though, we should go deliver the goods. Yeah, we should. Won't be much longer I can do this for her, so I need to make every moment count. Well, isn't this a slap of nostalgia? Why is that? We're right outside the FOSS map on Main Street. Ring any bells? Perhaps one chiming two o'clock? Oh, right. I waited here for you in vain for God knows how many days before I became aware of the delusions. Which brings up a question that's been nagging at me. 
When did that even happen exactly? I'm pretty sure it was right around when you guys nullified Ryu's delusion. I actually watched you from here. You, Saki, and Ryu together. Wait, are you saying... Yeah, I think my delusion started because you were ignoring me and having a grand old time with your crew. T sorry about that. <laughs> Water under the bridge. Besides, if it weren't for that, I never would have met the Freedom Fighters. So in a way, I guess you could say that was the moment that the Akihabara Freedom Fighters were born. Them and... Oh, hold on, I'm getting a call. Who could that be? Unknown number. Hello, Mizuki speaking. Yes, Hazuki Aihara is my sister. Yes, yes, that's right. Really? Thank you for letting me know. Right. Thank you. Something happened to Hazuki? My sister had a fall. They rushed her back to the hospital. What? Is she alright? Maybe she just wants us to indulge her some more. Maybe she's feeling a little left out. What are you saying? Uh, Sahi, could you come with me? There's somewhere I'd like to go. Why are we here? Shouldn't we be going to the hospital? It's fine. She's probably sleeping right now anyway. Be that as it may, I still don't know what we're doing here. Wait, the delusion didn't come back, did it? No, that's not it. Then why? Just trust me. We need to go while my sister's still dreaming. Headed into the delusion scape? Is that who I think it is? Whoa, you guys made it here way faster than I thought you would. But why are you here? <laughs> why indeed. Why are you trying to make me go to my sister's hospital room? Aha, so that's why you made it here so fast. You're the very model of the loving little brother, aren't you? I think I missed something here. Anyone want to clue me in as to what you're talking about? No, you made that call earlier. Did you really think I wouldn't recognize your voice? I didn't care if you did or didn't. Worked out great for me either way. What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean. You've already figured it out, right? I'm just a copy. I know. But I didn't want to believe it. Still at a loss over here. Little help, guys? If we'd gone straight to the hospital, we would have seen there is my sister, sick in her hospital bed. So long story short, the energetic, healthy Hazuki we see before us now is a delusion. Hazuki's a delusion? Something like that, yeah. How long have you known? Hmm, for a while now. But how? Well, when I went back to my room in the hospital, there she was. I saw another me right there. And that other me just lay there gazing out her window at Akihabara. I had no idea why she was doing that at first. But once I saw the sadness in her face, I realized what I was. It was so surreal. I thought I had to be dreaming. The fact that I could have been a delusion never crossed my mind. But then I started to wonder why the other me, the real me, kept on staring out at the town. The only way to find out was to go to Akihabara myself. And that's where I found the two of you, Asahi and Mizuki, hanging out in Akiba together, just like the old days. That was unquestionably what the other me wanted to see. Wait, so does that make you Hazuki's delusion? The real Hazuki, I mean. No, Asahi, it doesn't. Then I'm the one who wished her into existence. Isn't that right, Hazuki? That's right. I knew you'd figure it all out, baby brother. You're so smart! But why, Mizuki? I've always wanted to go back to when life was simpler. When you and I could just laugh and have fun without a care. Which, in turn, was a wish to get my sister back. Happy and healthy once more. I feel the same way. That's why I wanted you two to make up so badly. Actually, it wasn't that I wanted that. It felt like I had to get you two to make up. It's the reason I exist. 
If I did, I knew that the three of us could spend time together again. Which is exactly what the other me wanted. But now, my work here is done. It is? Well, you two are getting along swimmingly. Just the way you used to, right? So I ain't got a thing left to do. <sighs> Hazuki. Hey, buck up, bro. I don't want to see my little Mizuka looking so sad. <laughs> Okie dokie then. Shall we engage in some jolly delusionary nullification? But if we do that... You know what's missing from this picture? The two of you, standing shoulder to shoulder and ready for battle. Come on, Big Sis wants to see some blood. What is wrong with you? <sighs> well, if nothing else, it's nice to know that you really are my sister where it counts. Of course I am. And I've got to take advantage of this healthy working body while I still can, right? Besides, it wouldn't be fair to the other me if I were all pouty and glum now that I've got you two together. So get ready for a brawl, bros. Kick this phantasm's ass if it has one. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> There's our Hazuki. You know what, Mizuki? You've got one heck of a sister. Yeah, I'm proud to be her sibling. Okay then, you ready, Asahi? You bet, man. Good. All right, Hazuki, time to see what we're made of. No duh, I've got front row seats. Now that was the kind of fight a girl can get nullified to. You guys are super cool. Aw oh, man, you're making me blush. Wait, my sister's making you blush? Dude, stop. What's wrong with blushing? Well now, if I've got you this worked up, I must be sexier than I thought. <laughs> so, uh, aren't I supposed to be disappearing or something by now? Why am I still here? It has something to do with the power of the never-ending day. As long as it keeps going, all you delusion folk do too. But when the day does end... That's when we'll really have to say goodbye. <sighs> You've already made up your mind about what you have to do, right? Just believe in yourself and do it. I trust you guys. And then, when it's all over... When it's all over? Remember what you said you wanted the three of us to do? You mean about playing games together? That's the one. I want you two to play some old games together with me. The real me, I mean, not this me. I don't think we can keep that specific promise. And why not? Because you are the real you, just as much as the girl in that hospital bed. Copy or no, you're my sister. <laughs> now you're getting it. So, will you promise to play games with me then? With the complete version of me? Yeah. When this is all over, the three of us will play together again. Just like old times. <laughs> <laughs>